Hey, what's up YouTube, Bruce Lynn here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Game Boy Advance games on your R4 card. And this is super simple, you do not need CFW, you, this works with 3DS and DS, and uh, so you do not need CFW, you do not need FBI, you do not need anything but an R4 card. And I am pretty sure this is compatible with uh, literally any R4 card um, made out there. I'm going to be using the new one, the 2016 one. But, um, so this is just uh, showing you guys what uh, what it looks like with CFW. This is actually an, uh, a CIA installed app called MyGBA. But I'm just going to show you guys this. And after that, we're, I'm going to show you guys uh, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance emulator we're going to get on our uh, R4 card and compare it to this. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get started. Alrighty guys, now we're onto the computer and the next step is you're going to need to go in the description below and click the link I provided for you guys. And uh, you can either click it or just go ahead and paste it into your search bar. So uh, it's going to bring you to a Mediafire download website. Um, it's a really small file, so download instantly. Uh, GBA EMU for uh, DS. This is the latest version. I don't think there will be any more versions. So, uh, just go ahead and download this one. There will be no more updates because uh, I'm pretty sure they stopped working on this. So yeah. So basically, go ahead, click on it, uh, download it from your browser. And uh, since I already downloaded it, I'm not going to download it. And after you download that, go ahead to any ROM website. So I'm going to love ROMs, and uh, just go go ahead and find Game Boy Advance ROMs like Pokemon Fire Red or whichever one you want to play. Doesn't really matter. And go ahead and download it. Uh, we, we're not going to put it directly into our R4 SD card right now, but we're going to go ahead and um, extract the files and put them, and we're going to modify it. So, yep. Alright, so uh, I've downloaded them. They're on my desktop. So, first off here is the ROM. We're going to go ahead, right-click, use your file extractor uh, program. Uh, go ahead and extract it. I, go, I can go ahead and delete this to save some space. And here you can see, here it is. Now we do not want to directly just put it onto our uh, R4. First off, what we have to do is we're gonna have to uh, actually have to remove the .gba and change it to .mb. We need to make it a .mb. So now it's an MB file uh, because uh, for, uh, they made R4 not workable with .gba, file, .gba files. So you need to make it .mb. Also, I need to remind you guys that you need to be running Wood R4. Uh, this, I've only tested it with Wood R4. I've not tested it with any other program. So, uh, you guys feel free to try it out. But Wood R4 is the one I'm going to use. And now we're going to go ahead to our root of our uh, R4 uh, fold SD card. Create a new folder called uh, whatever you want. I'm going to name it GBA. And uh, go ahead and uh, drag that there. Go ahead and copy that to GBA. Give it a few seconds to copy. All right, now we're done with that part. All right, so you can go ahead and delete that now. Uh, next up, what we're going to need to do is uh, extract this one as well. So, right-click extract. Uh, we can delete this file. Go ahead and open it, and then you're going to have this. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to copy all of this. Just straight up copy it to the root of your SD card. So go ahead and paste it. And if there are some stuff that you, uh, if you have, do you have it or do not already have it, you can go ahead and uh, just go ahead and hit replace. So your uh, root of your SD card should have some new folders. And now we're done with the main part. Now we can go ahead to testing. So let's move back to our 3DS and uh, test it out. Alrighty guys, as you can now see, we're back onto our DS, and now I have two 3DSs, this one running with CFW and the emulator, and this one running with the R4. So we're going to go ahead and set up the R4 on this 3DS first. So uh, first off, go ahead and launch your R4, and then you're going to notice uh, a new app, it's called HBMenu.NDS, and that's what you want. So uh, it's going to have like a Nintendo DS icon, go ahead and just hit it, and uh, so it's going to look like this. Let's uh, give our attention to this one right now for a few seconds. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and scroll down to where it says patch.pat and go ahead and hit A. All right. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and use as patch. 
And now you can go ahead and scroll to our GBA folder or the folder that we made and we can see Pokemon Fire Red and we'll go ahead and just launch it, press A and use it as GBA file and we're going to go ahead and just start spamming A because uh, we, all we need to do is press A here. So uh, this may take a couple of tries to get it actually working. As you can see, this time it failed, uh, but uh, I'll be back when I can actually get it working. Alright guys, I noticed what I did wrong, so uh, I actually skipped the step, step when I was said start spamming A. What you actually need to do is, uh, uh, on the second step when I said start spamming A, you might go to uh, something like this, a list that says uh, save type. Uh, since I'm running, it depends on what type of game you're running, since I'm running Pokemon Fire Red, we're going to scroll all the way down to save save type flash 128 kb uh it may vary on what type of rom you're running uh you can go ahead and probably google that but uh so i'm gonna hit a there and uh go ahead and press start pressing a now and now let's go to the pros and cons i'm gonna display a list with and some background go. music and you hope you enjoy right on this for one. the rest of the video peace